Isolation Nation. Hello, and welcome to the Social Distancing Social Club. I am one of your hosts, Bobby Louisiana. And today... <laughs> Brad Louisiana. Yeah, but I thought we, I didn't like Brad and we changed it to Bobby, but I'm not positive, but I thought it was Bobby. <laughs> so I guess we can repeat that as the episode unfolds. Now the man who thinks I'm named Brad, please welcome the second leg of the four-legged Louisiana that makes up the Louisiana. It is Steve <laughs> Houston. Hello, everybody. Hello. Oh, oh, oh. I got a haircut. Do you like it? <laughs> I love it. I love it, dude. Nice. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to support the show, please do so. Top right of the screen is our Venmo. You could PayPal at SDSCshow.com. Of course, you can super chat on the YouTube. And with that, I would like to introduce another one of our hosts, Mr. Chris Bowers. Bow wow. <laughs> I love the cartoon, man. Did you pay him extra to make it hot? Or was that just how it came out? <laughs> I don't like that you're attracted to my cartoon, Bowers. I don't like I'm it. Saying it's better looking than your regular face. I didn't know if you paid extra for that or if that's just how, how it worked out. But uh, Rachel's here. How you doing, Rachel? <laughs> Queen. What's happening to that face? It gets like less and more hair based on your facial expressions. <laughs> that doesn't happen to you? <laughs> Honestly, oh, yeah, there Steve, is, looks, there Steve looks pretty solid like that. I wish I had an anime version of myself that I could unveil. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, so <laughs> you know? I wish. Sometimes wishes don't get made true, and sometimes they do as I look sadly upon the journey before us. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy that. And I enjoy that when I laugh in this face, it makes him evil. <laughs> Watch, you guys. Watch you guys fight. I think from now on, anytime we have a, just, a, a, a kind of argument, we just have your anime guys beat the shit out of each other like Mortal Kombat, and like Rachel be one. Like, be, I, yeah, I wish I could have. I wish I could have like the lines that make it look like I'm going really fast. <laughs> For every four, I will beat you with an eight. Like, I don't, I don't know enough about anime. To Were you just asking for cocaine, Steve? Did you just ask for lines that make you go really fast? Is that what you just asked? Yeah, that's cocaine, I guess. <laughs> also, I love how when somebody uses Steve's text code against him, he doesn't even recognize it. Oh, I see what you were saying. <laughs> but every four, I see you with an eight. All right. Okay, we it. had a fun overnight game. <laughs> I don't like anime when it's done by professionals. All right. Uh, <laughs> we had the overnight game was you wake up, you're in a bo zombie apocalypse, and you have one thing on your right and one thing on your left. What do you use them for? I think that was the game. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> Randy Longmire had a game of Jenga and a lint roller. I can beat them in a battle of uh, clever engineering. Or if I can't beat them in a game of clever engineering we'll play jenga i didn't know what it meant but it was confusing so it made me laugh <laughs> and uh Agnesky, by the way i gotta say this last night we took these edibles that i hadn't taken before and i, I am still high somehow this is like 14 hours ago i it really that messed hours. me up I, that is why night. would someone be high the next day i don't well, know i know i don't know if steve hofster <laughs> invaded my body or fucking what happened to my time i don't know first yeah, you talk little... about my anime guy being hot now i'm invading your body i don't like where this is going bowers <laughs> oh my god i wasn't gonna your I wasn't body gonna was me. destroyed by steve yeah. <laughs> by the way bowers <laughs> Bowers, what if you found out that Ben and I had no filters so far this episode? Right? I, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt it, and I'd be like, I need to get more of those drugs work, because that's the difference between me and you, Steve. When that happens to me, I find more of that, not less. Uh, oh. uh, did someone say Dr. Filters? <laughs> So Shag Nasty had, I don't know where I am, but there's a ball gag on my left, and on my right, a wet cloth that smells like chlora. <laughs> I thought that was very funny. And that was the overnight game, everybody. Nice. Today's game, in honor of what what is the most important election we've had in slightly over two months. Um, today's election in Georgia could demote Mitch McConnell, and that's a big deal. So, uh, today, Georgia is, uh, is known for its peaches, so we're fruiting a movie! That's what we're doing. We're taking the title of a movie, and we are making it about fruit. So, for instance, uh, Cantaloupe Hardly Wait, or uh, Yogi Pear, um, or the Tom Hanks classic, Fig. Anyway, the point is, <laughs> take the name of a movie, and you make it about fruit uh, in any way you want. Uh, Bowers is going to hate this game. Um, I also just I love, Steve, I love how our show takes such strong political stands. It's the most important 
day in our democracy of 2021. Let's make sure we tangentially take the fruit representing the state and turn it into movie puns. But that is you? a good point about the I, about the game that you came up with. Yeah, and Ben, so, you came up with this. <laughs> yeah, I texted I texted us like at seven this morning when you know Ben hadn't gone to sleep yet, and so I texted us and I was like, hey. Today is about Georgia. We should make the game about Georgia. And Ben was like, hey, why don't we make a movie into fruit? And I was like, all right, I guess that'll work. And then he was like, fuck that idea. It's mine. What is a fig? <laughs> <laughs> when confronted by the inadequacy of my own ideas, sometimes it makes me wonder whether or not I am. Really. All right. So. Uh, the way you play yeah, the game. That's a very, very Ben thing to, to write you a script and then give you notes on the script he wrote. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so the way you play the game. I've got some notes on that joke later. So <laughs> the way you play the game is you comment on any of our live streams, whether it is our Twitch, our Twitter, our YouTube, or our Facebook. But if you want yours to count toward the prize at the end of the show as well as having a much better chance of being read on air, throw it in with a tip, at least five bucks to our Venmo, our PayPal, or our uh, our YouTube, of course, we always prefer the Venmo and PayPal because YouTube takes an insane amount of money from it. And by the way, in addition to being an anime person, I also have been exploring my Airbnb a little more, and I found stuff. <laughs> oh. <laughs> did I stay at this Airbnb at some point? In the I think you did. I think you may have. I found these in one of the cabinets, and I was like, oh, my God. This, I think I'm in Ben's house. I want those. You may have to steal those from me, Steve. Those look <laughs> they will not notice. There's a lot of weird shit in that cabinet. I I can uh, I can go, show go you in the backyard and see if the hot hot tub jets have been disturbed. That's how <laughs> <laughs> what a dumb narrative. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well. Go uh, introduce the front row while I go get another phone. Only thing. this show can take the most vulnerable story, I admit, with 10 <laughs> things worth making fun of, and then just choose a wholly different thing that didn't happen and make fun of me for that. I'm sorry, a what different thing? A wholly different thing? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to jet. <laughs> that's, not, that's not the whole I wanted you to make fun of. No, I, but Ben, we're, if we make fun of something that was real, it could actually hurt you. We don't want to do that. So we make fun of something that's fantastical. Oh, yeah. now I like it. Thank you so much. Video, front row, VIPs joining us today. We've got Jennifer Story, who has fruited a backdrop. <laughs> we've got Frankie Angles coming to us with special angles we've never seen before, like next level, the angle game. We've got Mama Cass joining us with some kind of great backlight, creating a real moody vibe up front. Loves it. We got <laughs> Sean Ehrlich coming to us with the classic blues. We got Brian O'Connor coming to us underwater, but without the weird barracuda. We've got Chris LaBalls. <laughs> I have no further comment. We've got LJ Mutz. <laughs> Mutz and Futz, great to see you. We've got Dave Adler coming to us with, I don't know, Bowers, some kind of Bowers thing that's not high enough resolution for me to read. <laughs> He's a sandwich he wants me to eat. It says, will he, will eat, he it? eat it? Of course he'll eat that. I just <laughs> blew it up and he'll definitely eat that. We are also joined today by Frank Berman. Frank to Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> we got Jason B joining us today, my friends. We've got Bill Thompson. He could be at a corner. We don't know on account of the virtual virtuosity. We've got Jessica Keibel joined by another Jessica Keibel. It seems kind of looks like Zara, right? Uh, Rachel, Rachel oh, thinks that's everyone your baby. Like you Zara. said <laughs> that's your baby. That's adorable. Hello, hello, young Jessica. Five. You're five years old. You have five, five <laughs> things. Five. Dick jokes for us about walking into a bar. Five fingers. Whoops. Now four. That's going to be a disgusting cupcake. Okay. <laughs> we are joined by Lady E. Corbin with some kind of a curtain behind her. Very mysterious. Going to be drawing a mural for us today. And we got Anna Banana in the house, everybody. Anna Banana. Thank you for joining us, video front. Yes. Uh, Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs>
<laughs> and before we get to the uh, the comics, uh, we did have some new patron activity. Uh, so uh, Stephen Burks jumped up to the pin level. Appreciate that. Yes. And then we also added Gina Bina to the uh, Isolation Nation level and Carrie Dow to the Isolation Nation level. But Anne Herman, who is my mother, joined the Chris Bowers uh, level <laughs> just so she can finally make <laughs> <new> vegetables. <laughs> this she can make you wrong. eat a vegetable. That is the incredible. battle with my mother my whole life not to eat vegetables, and she finally figured it out. Watch the show he's on. Trick him into putting that as a Patreon level and then join the Patreon at that level. So my mom's going to make me eat vegetables for the next uh, foreseeable future. <laughs> Did you ever think to just charge her for it in the beginning? No, like it's when a you were con, Steve. It takes a long time for people to pay you to eat vegetables. It takes about twenty. <laughs> years. Like I try fifteen years in, I'm like, I'll pay you. I'll eat lima beans if you pay me. And she's like, What are you stupid? It took an extra fifteen years. It so is this her her long con to finally get you to eat vegetables, or your long con to finally get her to pay you to eat vegetables? It's probably, I, think it's, I think it's a Superman Batman sort of thing. We're just kind of bat <laughs> and no one actually gets killed. You know, each time we just fall away and then you know go our separate corners. I, I don't know. I think she's got me on this one though. This is kind of a checkmate. Yeah. Now, now that you just said that, by the way, you look a little bit like Zob from Superman Four. Yeah, I get that sometimes. That's that's uh, <laughs> well, that happens. <laughs> Bowers, you are still so high. It is. So I don't fun know what's to happening, watch. guys. I swear to God, I've never been hung over from weed before, and I just woke up like, what happened to us? Bowers is like, yeah, whatever. They call me Zod. Shut up. <laughs> we I, we watched this movie and I just real quick before I get to the comics. No, I'm gonna get the comics and we'll talk about movies. All right, we got two great comics. I don't, sorry, I'm gonna get on task. Here we go. We got two great comics, both returning champions. Leanne Lord is back. Leanne, how are you doing? Woo! Leanne, you I am awesome. Hi, you guys. Hello from the future and live long and prosper. <laughs> yeah. We appreciate it. <laughs> and our favorite Adam Mama Wallet, Danny Alabama is back. Adam, how you doing? Danny Alabama. Buddy? I'm doing well, man. I'm excited mm -hmm. to be here. I'm excited for this game. Am I to believe, Bowers, that you are aware of what fruit is? <laughs> well, I, I, I've heard of certain fruits because I've had most of my knowledge is other comics making jokes about shit. That's what I know about before, what I knew about weed before I started smoking weed. I just knew what, you know, I knew you eat Taco Bell. I don't know why. I just comics said it a lot. So I kind of know about fruit, but you know, some of them you have to explain to me. Every one of his entries has the word apple. That's the only one. <laughs> <laughs> they all had orange. I couldn't rhyme with anything, so I don't have any entries. <laughs> Or the Aren't you glad Bowers doesn't play the game? <laughs> ah, there you go. Uh, Rach, we anything coming in for what are we doing here? Yes, we do. We had Dana tip the show and said, Steve and Ben, now a boy band. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Dana tip the show and said, Steve, the sunglasses, are you staying at Officer Alvarez? And then it's a uh, yellow emoji face, like peeling its skin off doing this. And it's like, imagine its skin is coming off as it does that. The answer to that is yes. Okay, cool. I'm also yeah. going to get more uh, more dumb shit from this Airbnb. I'll be right back. Yeah, and those are great glasses <laughs> from the uh, CSI Miami. I mean, if we did that, that you know, we did that like what every episode for the first like 35. We did CSI Miami for a while. Mm -hmm. That'd been good. God, I'm so. I'm sorry, guys. I am so. Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about. We also had Dana uh, tip the show and said, "Bowers, I love your mom." And I just want to call out Jessica too. When you were saying that your mom joined, Jessica was pointing at the camera, and was like, "Yes, yes, yes," because <laughs> she's a mom. Yeah, I'm yeah. Excited. Yeah, I was a terrible kid, so. <laughs> I'm not surprised. All right. Like, I, had a, I had a bad childhood because I was a dick. Does that make sense? <laughs> that makes sense. You My had parents a bad were childhood. perfectly nice, and I could have been more angry about it. I should be on This Is Us. So you had a bad childhood because you were a bad child? Yes. So your mother also had a bad your childhood? <laughs> yes. <laughs> By the way, so I think I've shown this to you guys before. There's live, laugh, love stuff here. <laughs> but I realized it's perfectly fine that you could just make it say evil. <laughs> uh, and also, I was thinking, I was like, uh, maybe I'll rate this place like three stars. And then I was like, but I got to give it five stars if it has a, a Cyrillic board game of some <laughs> Okay, by the way, this is the most wow. comic Steve thing, most comic thing Steve's ever done. He's just bouncing around his Airbnb by himself, writing jokes about the shit in his Airbnb that no one will ever get unless he shows us on camera. So he has to shit. This is great. 
<laughs> well, when I realized I can make it say evil laugh love, I thought that was kind of. You almost did that. <laughs> but also, just the idea. Evil the idea laugh of, love. Of, if anyone's watching, does anyone know what this says? Yeah, it says no ponia se robieco. And what does that mean? I don't mouth know. Just reading those letters. It traffic. means run. Chernobyl's happening. <laughs> I just want to know my favorite children's book. <laughs> the, weirdest, the weirdest part about this is, is that the person who owns this place is a is a British woman, and like everything else in this place is in English. And there's just this one. Think she's a super spy? No, I think that there's just there was one tenant here who had this game and was like, "Fuck it, I'm not taking it with me," and then just. Love to hear. Jennifer in the chat just said it translates to Steve's board. You're goddamn right, Steve's board. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be Steve's board if he steals it. <laughs> Wait, hold on. It'll be my board if I steal it. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> we did it. Steve, I, I once went to like a Russian vodka bar in the city, and it was so on brand that the bathroom signs that said men and women were in Cyrillic. So you just guessed, like everybody was just guessing the whole night. And I was like, I appreciate the attempt at ambiance, but this seems like borderline entrapment. <laughs> <laughs> like at the, I'm like at the Outback Steakhouse. I'm like, am I a Sheila or a bloke? I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. It's terrible. Yeah, they're, I don't like Of course, that. that's your frame of reference. <laughs> I, don't, I truly don't like that. I do not like that when you're like going to the bathroom in most places, you have to be like, well, wait, do my hands do this or do they do this? Yeah. Am I a cow or a poke? I don't know if I'm a cow or a poke. What am I? <laughs> yeah. Am I supposed yeah, to poke a it, cow? What am I doing here? Is it hard for people in, in Scotland because everybody's wearing kilts and they're both wearing the shape of a woman sign? How does it work? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the men's sign just has an ax. That's how you know it's the it's the, I, yeah. It's a, it I'd like to say I killed it with that joke. Sorry. <laughs> oh, Someone on YouTube says it means Ow! read word. It means what? read, read word. word. Does wait, read is, word? wait, does is that the game or are they just encouraging oh, you yeah. to do that? Uh, That's the game, I think. Yeah. It's yeah. read I, the word. I know. So it's, 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 I was a trying to... it's like a match game. All right. I'm gonna see if I can if I can play. You're not, you can't even read the title or the, the, the cover. How are you gonna... I'm super good at this, Rachel. Don't doubt me. Somehow he knows the rules of this Cyrillic game he found. Yeah. <laughs> he played it as a young child with his uncle who happened to play reading. I'm, I'm, uh, my, my family is, is Russian, but many generations ago. Well, why can't you read this? Same. In the oh, my God. <laughs> Holy cow. Is this the 23 and Me episode? Is that what we're doing? I'm My happy. family was Russian many generations ago to make it to old timey sound check. Here. <laughs> Here, like this, for instance. Uh, this says ma'am. Deal with it later. It just says ma'am. <laughs> See, that works. That's a rat. That's like part of my nameplate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the rest of the game says awala. <laughs> oh no, I thought you might meant because ma'am in Russian is Alabama. I didn't know. <laughs> Wait. Um Steve, did you and Bowers somehow share the same edible cuz this is a little <laughs> By the way, I just pulled and, out and Are they going to be a sponsor of the show and are they supporting visiting comics? That's really all I want to know. Here. I just pulled out <laughs> three tiles and the first three tiles I pulled out spell cop. <laughs> I mean, that's one way to look at it, but if you reverse that, it's person of color, Steve. <laughs> or point of All contact. All the more reason to be point of contact. <laughs> All right, I'll, st I'll stop. If your this POC is, stupid. is a POC, you're A-OK. -okay. That's right. <laughs> also, it proves yeah. that the opposite of a person of color is a cop sometimes, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Holy shit. Oh, shit. Ooh, all right. You're so, sitting in that one. Oh. <laughs> Just making a very stinging political social comment. Yeah, that was, that like was that. good. That was, I thought that was yeah, really good. Yeah, that a fruit. <laughs> uh, racist uh. cop berry. Uh, that, it was bananas. Mm. Tell me more things. Mm. Uh, Cass tipped the show and said, fun fact, figs aren't fruit. They're inverted flowers. Second fun fact, figs are not vegetarian because in order for the flower to mature, a fig wasp has to crawl into the flower and die. And then the flower digests it, di digests it which means that figs are flowers, but not vegan or vegetarian. And another thing about that, I'm not going to eat a fig again. 
<laughs> I've got a fig tree, so I will still eat them, but I'm just going to feel a little more savage when I do. You know? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that's the lie. I don't remember the two truths she said, but that's the lie. Take away. That's a real thing. How does anyone know that? It's crazy. Well, people observe nature and they learn facts about it, and then they report them in books and stuff. Mm -hmm. I think she made that or up. Google. <laughs> or, or what, Leanne? Google. Google, right, right. <laughs> I'm sure the fig has its own Wikipedia page. Yeah, it's, uh, it's on Figipedia. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying the fig's that. better? It's, you're saying the fig's better at its career than me, Leanne? Nice, thanks. <laughs> Dude, I you're not no gonna page. remember anything I said, so we okay. That's <laughs> what, <laughs> what you're about to say? Cause I want to hear from you. I do. I'm coming up right now. Let's do a comic. It's Leanne Lord, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, it is so nice to be back with you. I guess third time's the charm. Uh, I am really looking forward to the time when we can do this live in person. <laughs> uh, I miss that. I miss performing live because I've performed in all 50 states. And uh, yeah, we don't we don't need all 50. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really think we'd be good if we got back down to our colonial weight. Uh, <laughs> 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 I was uh, I was home for the holidays, uh, but I, I I've been home for all the days now. Uh, <laughs> yes. I've I've been working from home, and I gotta say the the walk from the bedroom to the kitchen is a lot less scenic than it used to be. So, uh, just to mix things up a little bit, I uh, I painted Black Lives Matter in the hallway. Uh, yeah, for me and the cat, and uh, he approves because uh, he's a black cat. <laughs> and and if you don't find that joke funny it's because you don't like cats right <laughs> <laughs> i uh i didn't get to do my favorite holiday tradition this year uh which is i really enjoy going to the mall on christmas eve because uh, i love watching all the men buying last minute gifts <laughs> for women <laughs> and the, I love it. And the later it gets, the more you can smell their fear. <laughs> it's like, is that is that pumpkin spice panic? <laughs> it's uh, it's really bad uh, at the jewelry store, right? Because the the bracelets are sold out, the earrings are sold out, and women women think it's romantic when they get proposed to on Christmas. He didn't want to propose to you. <laughs> <laughs> All they had left were engagement rings. <laughs> so Merry Christmas to you at the wedding. <laughs> I, I, I noticed, I guess this, this has been happening for a while, we don't do Christmas cards uh, like we used to, which is a shame because I, I remember a few years ago, uh, my neighbors uh, sent a Christmas card to my dog from their dog. <laughs> <laughs> now, I thought him pooping on the lawn was greeting enough. Um, <laughs> not, no, not, not, not the dog, my neighbor. He had um, <laughs> um, But I'm taking it easy on myself this year. I, uh, I did not make any new New Year's resolutions. Um, I just recycled some stuff from the 90s. Uh, I, yeah, I, I think if I knuckle down, uh, I have a real shot at National Honor Society. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course, we know that the number one New Year's resolution is uh, is getting in shape. And uh, they caught me last year. Uh, last year, I, I signed up. I started going to the gym. And then I was ready to quit after a week. And, but I held out until Martin Luther King Day uh, because I have a dream. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm willing to exploit my culture. Why not? Um, but here's the thing. Uh, if, you, if you're going to do that thing, if you're going to start exercising, then you also have to start eating right, which is not easy. Okay, my doctor said to me, he said, no caffeine, no fatty foods, no alcohol. I said, no copay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not paying to hear heresy, sir. I rebuke you. <laughs> Here's my thing. Here's my thing. Um, 
I, I, I guess I want to lose weight. Uh, I'm just not sure why. Right. And I don't because I don't know if it's my idea or society's and society doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me right now because women's clothing starts at size zero. If a grown woman can be a size zero, what does that make a baby? Negative 42? <laughs> <laughs> You're not a size zero if people can see you. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I know I got to get out of here, uh, but I, I just wanted to share, uh, I guess, a, a bit of a holiday story. Over the holidays, I got to watch Harriet, uh, the movie about Harriet Tubman. And it, it, there was a part that just broke my heart, you guys. Um, she escapes. She's free. She goes back a year later to rescue her husband and finds that he is already married to another woman. Y'all, I felt like if that could happen to Harriet Tubman, that could happen to me. Like, I leave, <laughs> I come back, he's married, talk about baby, I didn't know where you went, I didn't know how long you'd be gone. Motherfucker, I went to work! <laughs> <laughs> I left this morning. <laughs> and I'm working from home, you didn't see me in the living room, you didn't see me sitting there. <laughs> You guys, your laughs are magic. I, I love it. If you've enjoyed me, I'm Leanne Lord. If you have not enjoyed me, I am Jada Pinkett Smith. <laughs> Leanne Lord, everybody. Leanne Lord. Tip jar is open. Top right of the screen is our Venmo. You can PayPal at stscshow.com. Of course, Super Chat on the YouTube, do all of that stuff. By the way, uh, Leanne, I also made some 90s resolutions. I think 2021 is the year that I'm going to unscramble my cable. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be big for me. No one on that. All right. No one, no one tried to unscramble cable. No one grew up poor. All right, fuck you guys. I, mean, I, remember, I, remember, I, remember, I remember blinking so you could see if you could see the boobs in between the scrambles, but I didn't actually try to unscramble. Yeah. I just blinked a lot. No, Occasionally you, you would get a boob come in there. It would be like Wait. a weird futuristic like squiggly boob, and it would be pretty magical. It was Wait, just hope it wasn't boobs? a butt. I thought they were balls. Really? Well, <laughs> the, it's in the eye of the behavior. It's perspective. It's in the eye of the baiter. I'm just saying that, like, whatever you. Leedy is very confused right now. Channels, yes. channels, 90, channels 95 and 96 were my favorite channels for oh. about five years. I don't know what any of you are saying. None of these. Okay, Leedy, let me let me explain if I may. Uh, before all cable was digital, or people just didn't have cable, you would just go to the higher channels that were like Spice Network and Playboy. And it would just be fuzzy porn. And you could hear it pretty clearly, but not if your parents were upstairs because you didn't want to have the sound on. Mm -hmm. So you just were looking at fuzzy porn. But it also like didn't prepare you for seeing an actual naked woman. Like I feel like the first time I saw someone who was naked, I was like, you don't look like a Picasso painting at all. That's why I saw <laughs> <laughs> no, a naked woman. I was like, the resolution, it's too bright. Oh Put yourself down. I, I love the look on her face as you are explaining that. Now, if you want to bump it up and get a little extra scary, there was a time when the channels didn't go higher than 13. <laughs> 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 Heresy. Heresy. I, I don't believe heresy. you. Then that wait a second. The day, my dear, it is absolute heresy. Wait, wait a second. You're skipping over two huge features of that time in television. One was uh, was the basic cable, which after about 1 a.m. sometimes would be something like the Robin Bird show, where it'd be like, oh, lots of naked women. They're disgusting, but they're still naked. That's cool. And then there was the other thing, where every now and then they would be like, here's the free preview weekend for like Cinemax or something like that. Mm -hmm. Steve, when you were my age, was all television in black and white? Because I think so. First of all, Lee, 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 I was much older than you when that happened. But also, I did watch actual shows in black and white when I was a kid, though. Leave it to Beaver was in no, black and white. I did there too. were lots I just of actual to, black and two white shows, but. You I know. just wanted to call Steve old. We can move on. Lady, I, I, I'm, just imagining Ben's, I'm just imagining Ben's first time seeing a naked woman. He's like, man, I've never seen a naked woman in HD. This is fucking awesome. Let's go. Lady, I realize, I realize this is like asking a comic to do a joke, but can I please request that you just draw whatever you think scrambled porn is? Yes. <laughs> I really need that yeah. to happen. Because the, yeah. the other thing too, Steve, like is before, before the internet or before porn, 
I, as a kid, I would just have to convince my parents that like a movie I wanted to see with nudity was for a different reason. Like the uh, amount of times mm -hmm. I asked my parents <laughs> to rent He Got Game because I liked basketball, you have no idea. I damn near broke, I damn near broke my VCR as a 12 year old. By the way, also, can I just say, Leedy, I'm not as old as you think I am. I think it's really offensive that you uh, that you think I'm extremely old. I am a reasonable age. I'm a reasonable age. <laughs> Just brought back. Drink drink By the way, even young Steve looks like Stranger Danger to Lady. That's <laughs> Confident child destroys Heckler. <laughs> Steve, Steve bringing up though the free preview weekends just brought back so many lovely memories. Oh. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I don't know if this is sharing too much, but are any of you like me when you would just see the little boxes that said nudity and adult content, you would come right then? <laughs> Wow. Ben, is, no. ben is just like, I can't even make it through an FBI warning without coming. <laughs> Email did body started, inspector, bro. Did that start a trend, fellas? I'm, I'm hoping things got better. <laughs> Somehow they got worse. I don't even know how that's possible. Wow. All right, Rach, what we got coming in from the end? Okay, okay. We've got Tam Brown tipped 10 bucks. Or I'm sorry, Tam Brown tipped uh, five bucks and then another oh, 10 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> said, wonderful to see you on again. Pumpkin spice beer is a wonderful scent. I'm partial <laughs> to salted car caramel terror. <laughs> Thank you. And then she said, also, I almost forgot to live long and prosper. Then she did one of those things. Love it. I'm, I'm also a big fan of pralines and cream anxiety. So it's just, you know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that'll be the next game, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> right after fruit. Look, sometimes you end up in a Zales in an argument and they buy their own ring. It happens. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we weren't going to talk about that. Why are you getting personal? <laughs> Was that true, Bowers? You know that story, yes, that I got engaged in the Zales and she had to buy her own ring because I didn't get I didn't get approved for the Rachel. Finance. How long have you been on this show? I didn't realize that it was like that you guys got an argument. It's an actual story, yeah, that's real. Oh, <laughs> you want me to play more with my Russian board game, or no, 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 no. no. I'll just keep going with the end steps. If I All right, sounds it. good. Yeah, was your engagement more romantic, Rachel? Is that what you're saying? That that you got a better engagement? No, no, it was at a haunted house. Remember, it was. Horrible. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They paid you to scare you a whole bunch, and then yeah, you asked Mary when you thought you were... And then they asked you the most terrifying question you've ever been asked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I said, "Yes." What the fuck's wrong with me? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, that's me holding. It. I thought you found another version of it. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's fast. Uh, and it looks to be a didactic, a didactic game, too, so even more fun. Wait, I was hoping it was a didactic game. It? What? <laughs> <laughs> All right. There's dinosaurs we also... in it. That's great. <laughs> everything. Everything. Um, Kim Stewart, five bucks. And she said, great set. But then, lucky you, Leanne, she sent an emoji of a fucking a rocker chick with pink hair, like very metal, headbanging, and then her titties right. are bouncing. I don't have to do <laughs> if they did, imagine them bouncing. Wow. Yeah, mine don't, mine don't do that. Mine, they're, they're team players. They're not mine do. Bowers, you do it. <laughs> yeah, I know. Thank you. Uh, oh, that's the emoji. Wow. Is that your milkshake bringing all the boys to the yard? Is that what's it, happening there? Uh, it's just more milkshakes. <laughs> that's his milkshake being poured into the glass and the other canister on the table. <laughs> we also had Frank Berman, 10 bucks. Leanne, there's no copay on this tip. Mm -hmm. why, that, why did I say it's sexual? It sounded sexual. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And now my mind is running amok. I'm so right, thank sorry. you. <laughs> amok. All right. Uh, Dana tipped you five bucks and said, it's great to have you on again. Black cats matter. Oops, I got that wrong. Didn't I? Black cats and kittens matter. I'm doomed. <laughs> <laughs> I won't tell my sir you said that. <laughs> we also had Jessica Kybel tip you 25 bucks and said, always great. And I love the black cat jokes. You're the bomb. My cat wrote that. Don't, don't. <laughs> we had a $50 tip come in for you. So thank you to that person. That person. Oh. That person. Is that my mom? 
Because <laughs> we've been having this argument about back allowance and, you know, not complaining ah. to confess. So. Wait, back allowance? Are you asking back. your mother for reparations? <laughs> yes. I was yes. not going to make that because joke. Because justice <laughs> begins at home, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> Black daughters matter. That's all. <laughs> By the way, I, I Bowers, I, I wasn't sure about making it either, and I made it, and I was like, oh, thank God everybody left. <laughs> well, see, that I'm just has been high my enough. entire career, Steve. Oh, my God, thank God they left. My entire career. I'm I wanted to make enough. it and be like, wait, I'll do this character. This guy made it. Um, <laughs> and when he makes it, it's offensive. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. With, with those glasses on, this yeah, is wait. much different. Hold on, this guy's on parlor. All right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Also, I, f I feel like for a group of people that are super homophobic, parlor's not what you should call your social network, right? Yeah. <laughs> they call themselves teabaggers, man. They don't know anything about anything. <laughs> <laughs> they can't name anything that's not like very free sexually. Yeah, they're like they're like we're the proud boys. Look what we wrote on our asses. And we're like, do you know what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. We're gonna make this boys town. Well, I don't think you understand what any of this means. Uh, GOP Meanwhile... gaping old pussies. I mean, they can't avoid it. <laughs> Meanwhile, Alanis Morissette is sitting at home going, did you not hear my song? None of you. <laughs> stand back and stand by, spelled B-I. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I just like one of my favorite commercials ever is that old lady commercial where she has her Facebook on her actual wall and she's like, I love that commercial. You. And they're like, that's how this works. That's how any of this, that's just Trump with this whole thing. And he's like, hopefully Mike Pence will, that's not how this works. Yeah. He can't, that's not how any of this works. And yeah. I, I truly love the idea that he's like, yeah, the vice president can decide. It'd be like, have you talked to Al Gore? Because I feel like. <laughs> yeah, speaking of, Dick Cheney just came out the other day and was like, this has to stop. This no. is not legitimate. Donald when Rumsfeld. Dick Cheney's like, this is a step too far, you know you've got issues. Dick Cheney <laughs> took a break from shooting his own friend in the face to tell us to stop. Mm -hmm. That's it, you guys. I don't I don't know any other commentary than better than Dick Cheney right there. Oh my and god. Donald Did Rod Rumsfeld. Sterling make him do it? Did Rod Sterling <laughs> make him say something? Tell you, man. Hey, some, sometimes you drug a bunch of birds and shoot your friend in the face. It's not that that happens. I'm not going to judge yeah. you. For that. <laughs> that's the part the Paris is okay with. That's listen. That's a Tuesday. That's a Tuesday. I do. You know what this reminds me of though? Like, have you ever seen a show where season one you thought the bad guy was really bad, and then by like season five or six you're like, oh fuck, it would have been good if that was the bad guy. Like it's gotten <laughs> like, like more and more intense Are you as you about go. Ben? What? Talking about Ben? No, I'm talking about, <laughs> talking about, okay, like Game of Thrones, all right? Game of Thrones starts off where it's like, oh man, Joffrey is the worst person ever. And then you meet Ramsay and you're like, fuck, Joffrey was nothing. Like, that's what happened. That's what happened. We're like, oh man, Dick Cheney was horrible. And we're like, fuck, wouldn't it be great if he was back? Like, that's okay. how bad it's gotten. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I just have a bit about, me... go ahead, Dan. No, I was just going to say, now you're making me think about future seasons of Bridgerton. Like, how could that go way wrong? <laughs> I'm talking about future seasons of America. Multicultural Netflix. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I also I just want to say I'm a little bit offended by what Bowers just said. It's, I feel like I, I have was... been known to. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> No, I mean I was in a music store once in Kentucky, and they and they had a in the in the bathroom they'd ironically hung a pitch, picture of Richard Nixon as a joke, and I remember thinking, oh. How cute is that? Remember when they used to think Nixon was the worst president ever? That's adorable, right? I, I told my buddy that. He goes, well, yeah, but that'll be true 20 years from now. I'm like, fuck, I hope. You realize that's best case scenario, that 20 years from now we're like, fuck, remember when we had President Trump? I mean, fuck, before, before we had President Kid Rock, at least Trump wore suits. You know what I mean, like, fuck. Bowers, the, I, Trump's the high high water mark of this. I mean, there's a chance of that. I hope not. This is Kid a Rock will wear suits. They'll just look like yours. <laughs> I'm Rachel sorry. That was said. That, that was said by this oh, guy. Okay. Yeah. No, no, no. It was, it was, some, some things are just true, Steve. So they're not funny. <laughs> I thought it was funny. No, it was Man, perfectly funny. It was, so, it was so on the nose that it, it, I just had to go. It, could, it, tangentially, <laughs> re, tangentially related question, Bowers. Um, 
when you left that bathroom at the music store in Kentucky, was that right when you finished headlining, or was there... <laughs> Were you hosting the, the bathroom? Is that what you're saying? That's kind of what I'm saying. It's not. Yeah. It's a and I was, yeah. just, I was ben, there, there. So yeah, it sounds about right. Usually ben, can I can, I can I just thank you, Ben, for doing that just then? Because my suit joke didn't really work, and you were can like, I, I got gotcha. you. Can, can, can I finish? <laughs> Can I, uh, that was Rachel finish? Ross Perot finish, impression. I like that. Speaking of vice presidents, there's a Ross Perot joke. Um, Rachel, go Bowers, for it. Does Bowers think Ross Perot was vice president? <laughs> oh, that was a George Bush. No, it was no, not it was George was Bush. I, I know that now. The minute I said, "Oh yeah, it was Ross Perot." My bad. I was thinking it was the <laughs> Bowers. It was by the way, it was Dana Carvey's Dana Ross Perot, not Dana Carvey's George Bush, which he did both. So that's where I was confused. But right, I'm Bowers. Fine. Clearly, it was a Ross Perot. <laughs> regardless can i finish <laughs> yes if that's a ridiculous filter that is an unbelievable filter embarrassing really you should shift it oh. i think that's your real face i don't understand why it took taylor that long to it this hurts because i've been taylor trying to move long. on for five minutes Rachel, i feel like they're all kanyeing you like i'm gonna let you finish but then they what? keep talking <laughs> i'm gonna let Welcome. you finish but taylor swift had the best tip Sorry, go ahead. that's what no. tip oh Dave Adler. I'm personally offended by that, Steve. I'm personally offended I'll, I'll by that. I'll go over to your house. I am in LA right now, Benjamin. I will go to your house. I'm very offended. <laughs> Taylor, are you, are you Taylor, don't do it. Don't Taylor, do it. you gotta do it. You gotta do it. I have to do it. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Y'all need help. Um, I don't know if you're aware, but <laughs> live switching the show is not in the moment making editorial decisions about whether or not you like the joke. You, know you switch saying? for me all the time. Why don't no, I not now? Uh, fair enough. Uh, all right. We had Dave Adler tip you, Leanne, five bucks and said, oh, Lord, that was great. Oh, thank you. Uh, we okay. also had some generals come in. We had, no, no, no. Leave uh, Ben on screen this whole time. Let him sit in it. <laughs> Let him sit in it. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> in it. Oh, Harry yeah. forehead. Take it. But after I had to fight for it. Take it. Uh, we had Sonny Lewis. Uh, to to <laughs> oh, my I'm God. Sorry, who, who is this supposed to be uncomfortable for? Me. I think specifically. All for Bowers. Yeah, okay. it's, it's working. It's working. I'm trusting you. <laughs> we had Travis, Travis Campbell to, and 10 bucks and say for the laughs at the expense of the Q Crooks clan. Q Crooks. Okay. I'm say that faster. Say that faster. That's terrible. That's terrible. Yeah. Don't say okay. that again. Uh, Tam Brown took the show. <laughs> Bowers, between Jessica, your mom, and me, I tear hop. You're eating a lot of fruits and vegetables this month. And uh, then it was uh, an emoji of a carrot and a bunny, like eating spaghetti and slurping it and kissing. And it was a little weird. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I have no problem with the bunny eats the carrot and I eat the bunny. Does that count? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm moving on real quick. She also tipped and said, Steve, you had cable? What a humble brag. I just, I was turning on the VHF knob to get the channel clearer. Oh, no, I totally re I got cable when I was 15. And the only reason we got it was because we moved to an apartment building that had no ability to have an antenna. So like we had to get cable. And even then my mother fought it. So I spent the first I spent the first 15 years of my life. I don't know if anyone's from New York trying to see a movie on channel 55. Because like every now and then. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad one person relates. Steve has been trying to convince me for the last five years to cancel my cable. Uh, I, I have. It is crazy to me that Ben still has actual cable and not, like, oh. what I the support, rest of the world has. I support the television industry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how comfortable have you guys gotten with each other that Ben can just eat mouthfuls of noodles with impunity during a show? <laughs> uh, that was episode <laughs> one, Adam. <laughs> oh, <I've been> trying. <laughs> yeah, I gave, a, no. I gave up impunity. that fight a long time ago. What was that, Leanne? Sorry. So that was with a fork, not impunity. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's his fork's name, actually. He calls his fork. Oh, wow. Yeah. That, that, that was a metal love. fork. It's like a magic fork. It's like a superhero, but his, his weapon is a fork, and it's eating noodles is a superpower. Uh, Rachel. <laughs> we had Dave Adler 
tip and say, Ben, was there cable in your hot tub? And then he sent a, an emoji of a carrot stick, a celery, and a sweet potato and a bra sitting in a vat of fr- ranch dressing like it's a fucking hot tub while they're just like doing this. and so- Jiggling each other's balls? I think I, I can't see one of their hands, so maybe. <laughs> now you're taking Ben back. Where are people getting these emojis? Right? Venmo. Venmo That's and, not on uh, my phone. Or <laughs> you're just not typing in the right shit for them to prompt you. If you type They're in that, they'll not. prompt you at the... What can you get for Carrot Hot Tub? Um, Jessica tipped the show and said, this is because Bowers brought up my absolute favorite commercial ever. That's not how Facebook works. It's so genius. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Shaquille Syed tipped the show 10 bucks and said the queen is my favorite host listen we both know that's not true because I was on Leedy's live this weekend and he said Ben I think was his favorite host while I was fucking right there I was right there and he said that to my face thank you very much appreciate that can confirm I cannot believe he'd lie twice (laughs) (laughs) he did say Steve first I think (laughs) (laughs) sorry Steve uh, do you feel bad being passed over uh, can we get I'm, to uh, Ben? I'm happy not to ben. be nominated. I'm just happy not to be nominated. That's yeah. All. By I'm the way, now ben. my least favorite host. Yeah, Ben, go fork yourself. <laughs> I would love wow, to. Wow, that sounds to... like you were in the good place. Because <laughs> this is starting to feel very Jeremy Baramy for me. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done, Leah. Nicely done. Danny, Alabama. Let's do this. Are we ready? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, come to the stage now. Another returning champion, Adam Mama Walla. What's up, everybody? How you doing? I'm going to start my stopwatch so I can be be right on time. Um, where to begin? Uh, I am once again performing in John Oliver's studio. This is how I do my Zoom shows. This is just <laughs> the, the decision that I've made for myself. Um, I want to tell you about something that just happened. Uh, like right before the show, I got a text that I want to share with you. And to be clear, this is not a lie. This actually just happened. And to the people out there who are not comedians, who watch comedy, uh, I want to let you in on a little secret. When we say that something just happened, it might have just happened. It's also possible we're full of shit and that thing happened years ago and we're just still doing that bit. And this was a real problem during lockdown because I was doing Zoom shows in April, as all of you were, where like it was illegal to leave your home and I just forgot that's how I did comedy. And I would just be <laughs> casually mentioning things on Zoom shows like, yeah, I was at this party last weekend and people were like, what the fuck is wrong with you? I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> the party was in 2014. I'm just still doing this bit. Please give me a but I got a text. I want to read it. So uh, a friend of mine who who may or may not be watching the show, I don't know if she's home yet, but she uh, was at the AT&T store and sent me a picture and it said, this guy has a bird in his transparent bag and told the <laughs> store associate, don't mind my bird. And I bring this up because <laughs> the last time I, uh, I did this show, I told a story about a horrific uh, in-person show that I did over the summer where I almost got hit by a bus performing on a wooden shipping crate. And (laughs) things like that and a text about a bird in an AT&T store restore my faith in the fact that New York will survive this. Like, if New York (laughs) can still be this weird now, it's so thrilling to me. And I've given a lot of thought to, like, what is the last quintessentially New York moment that I had before everything stopped? And, And the thing about New York is, like, I... Anyone who's ever lived here, it's a Stockholm Syndrome sort of scenario where, like, you actively hate it every day, but you also feel like you can't leave. And I love New York, but I'm also wearing a sweatshirt right now that literally says Los Angeles. This is where I'm at. (laughs) Thanks about New York. But the last moment that I can remember, this was in in January, and I was, like, bouncing around uh, in between shows. And uh, I go into this uh, dollar slice of pizza or like dollar pizza place to get a slice because uh, everything in my life was going just as I'd hoped. And um, <laughs> I'm, I'm in line behind this guy. He orders a slice of pizza. He hands over the dollar. The employee slides him the slice of pizza just loose on the counter. Oh, <laughs> oh fuck. No plate, no napkin, just direct pizza to counter contact. This honestly might have been how a pandemic started. I'm not sure that it wasn't. <laughs> it was a personal pandemic, if you will. 
And it was one of those oh times where... <laughs> oh, fuck. It was one of those times where, like, have you ever seen somebody do the wrong thing with so much confidence that it makes you feel crazy? Like, there was a... There was a brazenness with which he slid this slice of pizza. The first split second, I was like, is this how pizza's been served the whole time and I just forgot? It's not how pizza's been served. <laughs> the guy buying it, understandably incensed, was like, well, what the hell is this? Where's the plate? The employee who was Russian, which, say what you will about elections, but I think we can all agree that Russians should not meddle in pizza, said, <laughs> and I quote, I'll never forget this, you pay for a slice of pizza? I give you a slice of pizza, which is <laughs> objectively an amazing response. Um, the guy buying it turns to me to look for moral support, I guess. And the only thing that came out of my mouth was, he did give you a slice of pizza. <laughs> so, I'm time for me to move to LA, I guess is what I'm saying. Uh, my brain has been irreparably damaged. But things like that happen, and it makes you ask yourself, like, why do I still live in this godforsaken place? But then there's other things that happen that are so unique that you're like, I can't leave. I have to be here forever. And I had one of those last summer. I was, uh, I was playing softball uh, in Central Park, and I'm there before the game just warming up with a teammate of mine. And uh, I see this little kid. He's probably like seven or eight years old, just watching us throw the ball back and forth. So I thought it'd be funny if just as a joke, I was like, oh, sorry, kid, no autographs today. So I said that to him. And then that child looked back at me and said, nobody wants your fucking autograph. And I was like, and I live here till I die. I love this place so much. <laughs> Fabulous. Um, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm running out of time here and I'm gonna be at five shortly. So I, I, I hate to end on, on a note of sincerity, but I wanna say as we head into the new year, uh, that I, in 2020, I was, this, doing this show is like one of the highlights of my 2020, which honestly speaks to how terrible a year was because this isn't that great, but <laughs> I, I want to be clear. No, I want to be clear. I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm actually, I'm completely serious. This, doing this show, the first time I did it was the first time I felt like I was actually doing stand up again. And I really fucking appreciate you guys doing this for everybody. So. That's it for me. Adam, Danny awesome. Alabama. See ya. Danny Alabama. Danny Alabama. Adam Mama Walla. Tip jar is open. Top right of the screen is our Venmo. You can pay for it at SDSCshow.com. Of course, you can super chat on the YouTube. We will be skimming 20% of all tips for that last jab. Thank you. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, I wouldn't have no. it any other way. I assumed you were doing that anyway. I also, I also, I also noticed the fact that Adam, you know you're able to speak freely as a guest on the show, so you clearly only had four minutes and 20 seconds of material, and then you're you right. to fill that last 40 seconds with some heartfelt bullshit, because you could have said it right after. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. By the way, also, uh, Adam, I will say, as a New Yorker that moved to L.A., my first week in L.A., um, I, was I was walking down the street, and I saw a guy um, wearing a purple felt-looking cape, um with a bird on his shoulder and i like went to like turn to like oh look at this guy and there was no one else on the street and i realized that's the difference between new york and la same amount of crazy people <laughs> but the, in new york you can be like look at this fucking guy giving me a pizza like that but in la there aren't enough people walking like what am i gonna do catch <laughs> lag down a car and be like hey hey look at that guy huh and and there's so few people walking in la that when you see something like that steve had to approach him and ask him to be one of the quarantine legs on the social distancing social club <laughs> <laughs> came into our lives Solid point. Thank you. I, I, you know what? That bird. I will. I owe that whole my whole career to that bird. Uh, <laughs> By the way, Bowers, I gotta say, it is so much fun to see how fucking high you are right now and how hungover you are from I, it. Promise, you don't. I, you don't eat. You do not eat vegetables, but you will smoke one to make you one. I, I'm telling you, man. I, this is like I, we did this 8 p.m. last night. Like I, this is unfriendly. I never thought that at 3 p.m. the next day. Uh, I will say this though, Adam. I've been in three fist fights as an adult, and all were over pizza. So I understand your uh, anger. And your, I, I've punched three people in the face over mistreatment of pizza. So I think I might have taken a swing at that guy. Bowers, also considering how high you are right now, is there anything else you'd like to ask Efren Ramirez? <laughs> that's what this that's what this feels like honestly i think i was wearing the same coat maybe this coat just has <laughs> <coughs> the drugs come in the coat yeah we found that's a gel packet you shouldn't snort that we found that out a couple episodes ago that's silica <laughs> silica that's not cocaine rachel what we got coming in 
All right, we had Jake Parker tip you, Adam, five bucks and said, can I get a slice and a plate for $5? <laughs> <laughs> totally. Yeah, you got to be specific. That's the key. <laughs> um, we had wait, a tip come wait, in for 50. you you got to put that on your vision board? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, speak plates into existence. <laughs> <laughs> Manifest it. Um, we had a tip come in for 50 bucks. Uh, Leanne's mom, that's so my nice. My mom! <laughs> <laughs> um, Kim Stewart uh, tipped five bucks and said, always so Good funny. Good Good and yeah. then yep. there's an emoji, and it changes a lot, but it's basically just a character in Christmas sweaters doing a bunch of different things, but every single character has no pants. None of them have pants. So I think one of them, I see their genitalia. <laughs> pretty certain the venmo programmers like, have been a little like, busy like you can't tell if it's genitalia or if you can't tell if it's you can like see. this big it's it, and it's square it's like a rectangle like regular would genitalia. you describe that as a as a tip or as a tip or just a tip <laughs> um i don't even know if it's, it's probably yeah i don't know what it is <laughs> my favorite uh piece of literature by the way is is the genitalia of two titties sorry what Put them, put them up on screen, Taylor. Put them up on screen. I'm fine. fine. <laughs> Unspotlight me, Taylor, please. <laughs> oh, now you don't want to be spotlit anymore, huh? Genitalia of two titties is pretty funny, man. I'm going to give you a genitalia. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, buddy. I don't know why no one laughed. I, I liked I, it, too. Thank you, Bob. I had to put it together in my brain. I'm a little high, but it's fun. <laughs> I was distracted watching Bowers trying to figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Lord. All right. We also had um, ba -ba -ba, Tam Brown tip six bucks and said, Danny Alabama, personal pandemic was so bad that it was bad. Kid show. Kid <laughs> was the worst shape. I thought personal pandemic was actually one of the better lines we've had on the show. That oh, was yeah, fantastic. <laughs> am, am I to believe that Tam gave uh, Leanne uh, seven dollars and, and me six? because You are actually happy to give him seven. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> That's See, perfect. this is why black we'll people don't get chair. ahead, because I wasn't keeping count. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> we also had Dave Adler uh, tipped you five bucks and said, Adam, I hope this helps you grab a few slices of better than two brothers. And then it's an emoji where the dude eats the pizza and then he fucking becomes pizza. Oh, that's nice. Bauer's dream. <laughs> I my whole life that's what i'm working on it's not working so much and you know what damn you adam now i want pizza for dinner i know <laughs> <laughs> who's stopping you my waistline dude come on that's why i love doing zoom shows nobody can see what's going on down here <laughs> i'm gonna get pizza for dinner but i'm gonna clean the counter first <laughs> gonna, why waste I'm, the plate honestly i'm gonna get pizza for dinner right now because i don't mind eating on the show whatsoever so that's rude as fuck that doesn't look like eating it does. <laughs> i love when he does the, the motion without the yeah that was fantastic here's what happened ben put the filter on and didn't realize he hadn't switched to it yet yeah. so it was just him acting like he was sucking a dick for a while it was real fun sometimes i have repressed feelings <laughs> We also had Dana tip you five bucks and said, great set, Danny. Although I was in New York City in 2019 for four days. Everyone was so nice. I think that's because I was smiling and talking to everyone. They assumed I was crazy. <laughs> Probably <Wow>. true. <laughs> yeah, by the way, the Dana easiest way you can get, like if you want a seat on the subway, the easiest way to get it is just to start to talk to people. <laughs> <laughs> They'll move. 100%. <laughs> We also had Anna Hood tip each comic five bucks. So thank you, Anna. Jessica Kyle, 25 bucks. It's always good to see you. Happy New Year to you too. I don't really feel bad about calling you Danny Alabama. I just told my daughter how that happened. She just shook her head and said, typical mom. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. We had, let's see, some generals. By, by the way, uh, just to clear up that how that happened, so uh, Jessica did accidentally call Adam Danny, but Alabama came from Bowers saying Mama Walla way too quickly. 
<laughs> okay, can I can I make a confession? Because that type is really small. I thought his last name was Alabama. For real. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly I don't. Zoom in and like, oh, that's that's not it at all. Okay. I I, I went too quickly. <laughs> I was nervous about it because I'm nervous when I have to pronounce a name that is is tough, and I fucked it up worse than well. Second worst. I fucked up somebody. Else. <laughs> no, no, Bowers. What you did is you and Jess combined forces to give us the one of the greatest characters we've ever had on the show. Yeah, Danny, Danny Alabama, Alabama, man. I mean, come right. on. I'm not. I'm not self conscious about being Danny Alabama. We we've got fans who I who choose to identify as Chris LeBall, so I'm fine as Danny. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we also had Christopher Capo. Tip five dollars for Danny Alabama and six dollars for Leanne so she can get ahead. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Hold on. See that mod has real reparations right there. <laughs> <laughs> um Tam Brown one buck and then said, All right, Albert mad about it. Uh here's your other dollar and it's a it's a Abraham Lincoln. So it's, it's, it says five. So technically Tam it says it's a five dollar, but she only gave you one. But it, he's doing gimme. So you got a buck. <laughs> I don't know how to speak emoji. <laughs> this is all very uncomfortable. I'm sorry. This only started like three episodes ago. I'm not a fan of it either. We also had, let's see, um, some generals. Gus Walsh sent in a super sticker, a hot dog with a ketchup, and it took me three episodes to realize there's no fucking ketchup. It's just mustard. <laughs> We also had Jonathan S. tip the show and said, how is DannyAlabama.com still available? <laughs> oh, my God. Is it? <laughs> wow. That should be the URL for the show. <laughs> Nothing excites Steve Hofstetter more than an open... <laughs> 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 but also, Adam... Some people... Would... Sorry, some people say, oh, daddy. I say, go, daddy. That's the... <laughs> I had to get that one in, Ben. Go ahead. No worries. Adam, I think it would be pretty incredible since it might be a little challenging for people to spell Mamawala if whenever you just plug your website, you say, that. that's my time. I'm Adam Mamawala. Check out DannyAlabama.com. <laughs> <laughs> might be great. Idea, honestly. <laughs> and some drunk person in the audience will be going, what's his name? Ramalama Ding Dong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're that's not going to remember you... her name anyway. It doesn't matter how many times you say it. They're not going to fucking remember it. <laughs> Last couple, Hayden LeMaster tipped the show and said, it makes sense that Bowers is high. It's not technically 420 today, but it's pretty much the same thing if you can properly reduce fractions. <laughs> oh my God, that's great. <laughs> wow. That's actually why I only did uh, four, four minutes and 20 seconds of comedy with, just to honor how incapacitated Bowers is right now. Nice. I just like the idea that they're like January 5th, February 10th, March 15th. May 25th, oh. June 30th, and July 35th. Let's do this. <laughs> I honestly consider this, though, to be December 36th, 2020. I'm going to keep counting up until Trump leaves. <laughs> He's leaving December, uh, what is it, December 50th? December 50th, that's correct. Or December 51st. <laughs> yep. Okay, One how do else. we define leaving? <laughs> Don't arrested flying, <laughs> flying on a 747 to ireland <laughs> yeah. wow um i think we're ready for the game all right let's Ooh. play the game let's fruit that movie so if you're in our front row if you guys want to participate um raise the virtual hands and we'll call on you um and these are the unpaid entries that i liked i had three Marissa Francis had 10 things I hate about fruit. That's nice. <laughs> Barris is like all of them. Uh, Chris Jacobs puffed the magic dragon fruit. Nice. And Matt Beto, crazy rich craisins. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, that's nice. great. Nice. That is great. Um, so let's have Frankie. And, uh, so, the, so Adam and Leanne, these are the ones that we're going to be voting on. So just like write down your favorite one. Okay. Um, so Jason, or I'm sorry, Frankie Angles, go ahead. I just have one. Um, the Great Father. Make me want to get abuse. 
<laughs> ah, nice. Nice. Uh, Jason B. I have three of them tonight. Uh, Silence of the Lions. <laughs> nice. Barry Poppins. <laughs> and the bridge over river kiwi oh my god <laughs> god damn it nice jason bill hey can you hear me okay uh just speak mm -hmm. up louder hear me better now yes yep, yep. okay uh, i got uh, instead of american pie apple pie uh watermelon from water world nice uh, oh the quiche and the dead <laughs> and uh, Kiss Rocks Vegas starring Gene Persimmons. <laughs> Little Japanese. <laughs> nice. Uh, Jenna Fruit Story. <laughs> Terror Witch Project. Nice. When, when Barry met Sally. Nice. <laughs> Kiwi Herman's Big, Big Adventure. <laughs> uh, Melon Balls the Movie. <laughs> the key limebowski <laughs> nice. and don't be a menace to south central while drinking your cranberry juice in the hood <laughs> uh adler all right so i have coconut milk <laughs> <laughs> i have the oranges are tasty citrus fruits <laughs> We have um, fast five servings of fruits and vegetables a day. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and, or otherwise known as a smoothie, I guess. And the last one will be dragon fruit chips, banana chips, apple <laughs> chips, and Bowers Fave beet chips. <laughs> By the way, Dave, I know that you complain about snow a lot, like living in upstate New York. You realize that you could sell everything you own and move somewhere better, right? <laughs> I, I love snow and and love complaining about it. Yeah. Also, no one will buy those DVDs. That's also true. No, also, yeah. I also, <laughs> also I just realized where Dave lives in the abandoned back office of a blockbuster that went out of business twenty years ago. <laughs> I actually want to. I want to believe that. I want to believe that Dave just stocked up on all the movies with sex scenes before the internet came out. <laughs> Dave, are you Mr. Skin? Is that? <laughs> Let's see. What time stamp is this one here? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, Frank Berman. So I got chariots of fire. Mm, nice. I got um, meet the parents. <laughs> I got a white mandarin can't jump. Nice. Brando classic. The Last Mango in Paris. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Meet Joe Blackberry. Nice. Nice. Whoa. Uh, Cass? All right. Um, Schindler's Limes. <laughs> oh, my God. I could have squeezed one more. I could have squeezed one more. <laughs> um, Harry Potter and the Gobl Goblet of Lemonade. <laughs> How to train your dragon fruit. Nice. Preserved fruits, the Terry Shivo story. Oh, oh, oh. shit. <laughs> uh, oh. I have a worse one. <laughs> Plucked the Don Monet story. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. I love you. <laughs> Is there anyone else in our front row that hasn't been on camera that wants to do theirs? Wave at me. Nope. Okay. Um, we had Brian O'Connor in the front row, but he had to leave early. His game entry is, I would prefer pink, but my lady thinks Ben Glebe was the cosmic core of bad apple people. I <laughs> have never been more confused. I, and I had to read it. How do you think I feel? <laughs> Bowers, Bowers, don't, Bowers, don't worry. We're all equally confused by that. <laughs> okay, good. I was worried that... Uh, uh, <coughs> whew, thank you, Adam. <laughs> That makes sense to everybody else except you, Bowers. <laughs> okay. wow. All right, these are the rest of the entries. We had Jonathan S., The Shape of Watermelon. <laughs> uh, Jonathan S., James and the Giant Banana. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, damn it. Jonathan S., The Eternal Sunkissed of the Spotless Rind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Charlie Tinsley, the girl with the dragon fruit tattoo. Nice. <laughs> a weird tattoo. <laughs> ben Sewell, Melon Rouge. Oh my God. Uh, ben Sewell, Cloudberry with a chance of mango. <laughs> Uh, Denise Cook, Logan Berry's Run. <laughs> uh, Cannabis Jones, Raisin Man. <laughs> what was what was it? Raisin, Raisin Man. Man Definitely good entry. Definitely good. Definitely Raisin Man is good. Is good. <laughs> uh, we also had uh, H7O Polo had Kangaroo Jackfruit. Nice. <laughs> Victoria Scattereggio, Cherry Maguire. Oh, fuck. <laughs> nice. Victoria, uh, oh. Orange Pulp Fiction. <laughs> and then she had Close Encounters of the Third Kumquat. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick Yoki, uh, Star Wars. The Carambola Strikes Back? What the fuck is a Carambola? Carambola? It's cantaloupe, Rachel. It's spelled cantaloupe. It's not spelled cantaloupe, you fuck. <laughs> it's a star fruit. <laughs> is it a star? Oh, it's a star fruit. My bad. Oh, um, uh, Star Wars. We also had Jack Dostal, cucumber from down under. And he said cucumbers are fruits. They contain seeds. They use flowers as part of the reproductive process. I watched several times. Finally joined you guys on Patreon. You guys are great. <laughs> I think Birdie, but I liked it. Protest too argue, much. Yeah, well, you argue that much, I think you don't think cucumber is a fruit. That's why you argue. <laughs> or he's the president of the cucumber league, and he's tired of this shit. <laughs> a good point. Uh, a good counterpoint. Ah, uh, damn it! I had this one. Renee Hutchinson, Planet of the Grapes. <laughs> nice. nice. God, it was Earth the whole time. <laughs> He has bridge over the river Kiwi. <laughs> you damn dirty grapes. <laughs> uh, Renee Hudson, plum and plumber. Oh, I like this. <laughs> Shannon Savage, passion fruit of the Christ. <laughs> oh, nice. Shannon Savage, uh, blueberries not included. Oh fuck! That's... <laughs> they never are. They never are. <laughs> Cannabis Jones, Demango unpeeled. <laughs> uh, Shannon Savage, plant plantains, trains, and automobiles. <laughs> God. <laughs> Shannon Savage, Mango Unchained. Ooh. Ben Sewell, Top Guava. Is that a Top Gun? Get it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, Razor, uh, Harry, Harry, Bo Berry, Banana Fana, Faux Fairy, Fee Fi, Mo Mary, Harry, and the Hendersons. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Rachel, uh, that was just a general. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Gus Walsh, Charlie and the Chocolate Covered Strawberries. <laughs> nice. Amina Sala, the King's Peach. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's good. Holy yes. shit. <laughs> Amina Sala, Passion Fruit of the Christ, Mango Unchained, uh, Orange Juice Bigelow. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Bigelow. Amina Sala, Fruit Snack to the Future. <laughs> uh, he had Planet of the Grapes. Catch Me If You Cantaloupe. <laughs> and then last game entry is from Doodoo Bean had What's Eating Gilbert's grapes grape tomato <laughs> <laughs> all right those are all of them. all right that's really oh shit a lot of really good stuff i really like the king's peach silence of the limes uh meet the parents was good cherry mcguire uh <laughs> to mango unpeeled was really good but i think i'm going with plantains trains and automobiles i like that one a lot uh adam what was your favorite one 
I was. It was a toss up. Uh, there were a lot of. I, I have some some honorable mentions. Uh, Cherry It's a Fire. I thought was amazing. Mm. Bridge over uh, River Kiwi. Uh, a couple of people had that was great. Cherry Maguire was great. I was between Plantains, Trains, and Automobiles, and Eternal Sunkist of the Spotless Rind. So to keep it interesting, let's go with Eternal Sunkist. All right. Awesome. Leanne, what was your favorite? Oh my gosh, I don't write that fast. Um, but that last entry was almost mine. I had uh, what's eating Gilbert grapefruit. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> but for me, I narrowed it down, narrowed it down. I was torn between the Great Father and uh, the Pear Witch Project. Uh, so I'm going to go with the Pear Witch Project. All right, nice work. <laughs> Rach. Man, well, so Sunkiss had me first, and then when Plantains, Trains, and Automobiles came along, that one was my vote. But then I'm going to split it up. I, I love the King's Peach. Mm. All right, Ben. Yes. I loved Schindler's Limes. Loved Raisin Man. The Mango Unpeeled. Plant plantains, Trains, Automobiles. But it just works perfectly when you got the S from King's that goes into Peach. The King's Peach is perfection. All right, Steve. Uh, I liked a lot of these. I really liked Bridge Over the River Kiwi, uh, Plantains, Trains, and Automobiles. But I got to give it to the King's Peach also. That was That's a perfect entry. Uh, the, rare, the rare perfect entry. Loved it. Uh, so claim your prize. Go to sdscshow.com. Shoot us an email and claim your prize. Awesome. Adam, do you have any? I, I did have a few. Let me, uh, let me see what I have here. Um, I had uh, The Fig Lebowski. I had, <laughs> nice. uh, I had I had pear spray. I had, nice. uh, I, had uh, li I had limes and misdemeanors. <laughs> and uh, I am I am most proud of American fruity. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Leah, do you have any? Just the one I gave you, because I, I live in a black neighborhood, and we don't get fruit. We just get apples. <laughs> so, and a lot of what y'all are talking about, I don't even understand. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. Uh, Tough, and when and they I deliver them. I'm West Indian. I didn't know plantains were fruit. So okay. yeah. that's how bad it is. Permission to make a racist joke? Am I allowed? <laughs> sure, I guess. Aren't yeah. you other? <laughs> I am. <laughs> I was going to say, even if there aren't fruits, we could always have done the color purple drink. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Okay. Uh, Rach, you got any? Cause I got, like, not happy with me. <laughs> I've got a couple. Do you have a couple? I got five. Okay, why don't you and I go back and forth, and then Steve and Ben are going to go back and forth. Okay. Uh, I had the good, the banana, and the ugly. Nice. I had 28 <laughs> dates later. Uh, <laughs> I had 50 first dates, so there you go. Right. Uh, once upon a lime in Hollywood. <laughs> nice. I said <had> con pear. <laughs> Iron mango. <laughs> nice. I had uh, the skeleton kiwi. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Watermelon for elephants. And then my last one is avocado plus now. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> my my last one is no cantaloupe for, for old men. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Ben and Steve go back and forth. Uh, all right, so Ben, how many you got? I got more than ten, so we can do top ten if you want. Let's do top ten. You start. Oh, I got to start, huh? Yeah. I got no some... country for El. Wait, what'd you no say? No country for elder. Well, I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> No country for elderberries. Nice. <laughs> Nicely done. Um, I'm actually, uh, I'm going to call in a relief pitcher on this one. Oh, no. Uh, La Balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Go ahead All right. <laughs> for the whole game? Yep. For the whole game. He was talking shit in the chat about it. He had some good ones. So then I texted you, and I was like, hey, I got great ones. And oh, shit. Okay. I told La Balls we, that we, he's going to do mine. We could have phoned a friend. <laughs> this is some bullshit, y'all. <laughs> All right, Laval's, you're up. All right, so I have hot tub lime machine. <laughs> Already oh. feeling good about this decision, Laval's. Thank you. All right, uh, I got 2001 fruits, bowers of voids at all costs. <laughs> <laughs> all right, um, broke back Mandarin. <laughs> nice. Seven Samu ripe bananas. 
<laughs> Pulp free fiction. <laughs> Eternal sunshine of the pitted prunes. <laughs> uh, a place beyond the pineapples. <laughs> the Godfather. There's a bowl of fruit over there. <laughs> uh, 21 Plum Street. <laughs> Jurassic Pear, okay? <laughs> um, Quad to America. What was that one? Come quadding to America. <laughs> <laughs> I've got apple lips now. <laughs> That, that's not how this works. That's not how it works. <laughs> uh, one more. Um, this one's a bit of a thinker, but Jordan Peele's Sitter Us. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. I don't think we're at 10 yet. I'm going to get let you do one more because that's not a great ending. It's not your best. <laughs> I've got a movie starring Chris Bowers. Avengers and Grapes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, we'll end then on uh, Lime and Punishment. <laughs> That's pretty good. I will, I will end with a little run here, if I may. Schindler's List for the Farmer's Market. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord of the Rhines. <laughs> a lychee in Wonderland. <laughs> Mango of steel. Remember the melons. Forest plum. And Ice Age continental breakfast. <laughs> nice. Good oh, game, man. Done. We made it through. Nice job. Sing the song, man. Here we go. It is Lady Doodle time. She's got a curtain up. We don't know what's behind the curtain, but we'll see <laughs> drawings instead. I just didn't want to have to explain it. It's from yesterday's AUE. Also, I got my uh, Steve's penis earrings. Oh, nice. <laughs> um, nice. First up, I have Louisiana. <laughs> <laughs> which i decided would be shaped like a w um, and then oh god I, have... I never realized louisiana was a do was an l fuck <laughs> uh then i have anime steve running oh hell yeah <laughs> those lines that make you go fast <laughs> and then i have you take pizza bitch <laughs> uh, and then I have stand back and stand by. <laughs> nice. Uh, I have the woman uh, finally getting down to size zero. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, and then I have. Ah, the smell of pumpkin spice panic. <laughs> <laughs> Don't buy your friends holiday candles. No, just kidding. I think they're great presents, and I buy them for all my friends. I have the kilt bathroom sign. <laughs> <laughs> I have um <laughs> the genitalia of two titties. <laughs> 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 Look at the dicks in line. <laughs> oh my god, is that by Charles Dickens? It is. <laughs> by the way, when I when I googled, uh, I went to Google a reference photo for the cover. I accidentally put in genitalia of two cities. Did anything scrambled come up or what? <laughs> and then I have uh, Bowers' reaction to that. Yeah, it is funny. <laughs> <laughs> it was the best of taint. It was the worst of taint. <laughs> it was the best of limes. It was the worst of limes. Oh, wait, different game. Different game. Sorry. Different game. <laughs> and then, uh, as requested by Danny Alabama, of course, I have my interpretation of scrambled cable. <laughs> 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 I love it, I love it, I love it. If you right, you can see a titty, Danny. <laughs> no, you can see, you can see genitalia and two titties. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> At art for my heroes on Instagram. Well done as always, Lee.
Great job, Leedy. All right, it's that time. Adam, where do we find you on the internet? How do we follow you around, buddy? Uh, once again, OnlyFans.com slash Danny Alabama. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> after, as of an hour from now, DannyAlabama.com. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, just my name. So at Adam Mamawala on uh, Twitter and Instagram. I've got links to all my shit there. Nothing else. Very cool, man. We'll see you next time. Appreciate you being here. Leanne, how do we find you? Uh, the easiest way to find me is VeryFunnyLady.com because only my parents can spell my name upon hearing it. <laughs> awesome. Well, we appreciate that. We'll see you next time. You can find me, as always, at Bowers Comedy. Check that out. Ben, what you got coming up? This Saturday, my weekly show, Gleeb Off the Top at Nowhere Comedy. And my next proof show is February 5th or 6th. And I don't know why I'm promoting something two months in advance, but on February 27th, I'll be doing only my second ever headline set of my material, including a ton of brand new material at Nowhere Comedy. So you can get a ticket for that and see the scripted stuff I will be touring with. Awesome. Steve. Uh, as for me, uh, I have two shows coming up this month that are uh, director's, com- uh, director's Commentary shows at Nowhere, so check those out. And uh, you can get tickets at stevehopsetter.com, or you can go to my other website. It forwards to me, dannyalabama.com. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel, anything to catch up on before we get the audience out of here? Do we had Jennifer Story tip the show and said Rob Lovett gave me his ticket, provided that I annoy Ben, but I'm taking pity on him for the pizza filter gap. <laughs> who said that uh jennifer story who's on our front row today thank you for sparing me jennifer and then lastly i just want to plug our patreon again patreon uh slash sdsc we are going to do our front row vip hang where we're going to play quiplash we just picked the date it's january 27th and I just realized that Bauer's mom is going to be there, hopefully. Because well, I'm not sure she's ready for all that. She just wants me to eat vegetables. She's not ready for the front <laughs> On our Patreon, <laughs> we're going to open arm invite her to all of the things. All right, I'll tell her. I'll tell her. She'll like yeah. it. All right, that's it. <laughs> Very cool. Well, thank you, Front Row. We appreciate you being here, as always. We love you guys. We will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow, we have another show. Did it seem like the last show was a long time ago for anybody else? Like It seems like it's been forever since we had a show, like the longest it's ever felt for me. But anyway... Mm-hmm. Uh, I was excited to be here. I'm glad you guys were here today. Thanks so much for being here. We'll see you guys next time. Rach, anything you want to say before you get out of here? No, I just say, um, I think that we need to still confirm at some point our uh, what we're doing for the 200th episode, which I think we've all mostly agreed what we're doing, but just to remind everybody that um, I don't remember really anything. <laughs> I'm supposed to do stand-up. That's what you I have to remember. do stand-up. I'm write five minutes of stand-up, and Ben has to write five minutes of poop jokes. No, no, I didn't agree to that. I'm going to do a show with no filters. <laughs> And oh, with no oh, props. Oh, 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 that's too easy. Five too minutes big. of poop jokes. Yeah. Five, the, Bowers, five Bowers, that's a little harsh. Some of them could be fart jokes. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Toilet, toilet jokes. jokes. <laughs> what are you doing, Steve? You're smoking. I'm smoking. And Bowers, what are you doing? I mean, I'm supposed to eat a vegetable, but if you guys want to do something else, I don't have no, to eat a vegetable. I can, do, I can do something else. <laughs> we'll, we'll figure something so out. So I'm just saying. I need something else. All right. But some equivalent to poop jokes. But anyway, so... My uh, problem with the poop jokes thing is I don't want that set to live on the internet. People think that's my stand-up. What's that? You can say beforehand, I, I'm being forced to do this against my will, and then... we can Wait, hold on, Taylor. We could put a filter up while he's on. We could put a thing on the screen that says, not Ben's actual set. This is... This you is read my mind. Movie. I'm already making it right now. All right. <laughs> Close. Perfect. And there'll be uh, like a little, there'll be like a little cloud, like it's a fart. On the <laughs> I don't and want then... to leave high that bad. <laughs> <laughs> and then tomorrow, you guys, you'll have Queen Jarrett. So I'll see you all on Fuck Fan Friday. Cool. All right, we'll see you, Rach. And same thing for me. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll see you. Yeah. Uh, and I just want to say. Um, I am going to be spending the rest of the night reloading election results, as as I usually do. I'll start working on the spreadsheets when it's about 70% in. Um, but as of now, with 5% reporting, Warnock and Ossoff are both winning by a fuck ton. So let's hope that that holds up, um, because right now it is a motherfucking landslide, and let's hope it stays that way. Yes, and thank you all for being with us once again. <laughs> it's been... A real peach being with you, and go, <laughs> go Georgia in the direction of the future. Thank you for being with us. We will see you again on whatever day tomorrow is. 
happy with it. <laughs> What's in the fruit salad? <laughs>